Ladies and gentlemen, do not be alarmed. Do not adjust your computer monitors. There's nothing wrong with the screen. This No Clue Movie Review Edition is in black and white. The way all movies used to be, boys and girls. In fact, the whole world used to be in black and white until somewhere around the 1950s or 60s. I did go to film school and I should remember the exact date, but it's all kind of fuzzy because college, well, it wasn't that long ago. I mean, I'm still very young. Point being, the whole world used to be in blacks and whites and grays and sometimes sepia tones until someone invented color. I'm just kidding, that just happened in the movies. But it really did happen in the movies. So we're digging back into the vault, back when things were in fabulous, glorious, non-technicolor black and white, and when the Brangelina of their day were Bogart doll or Bacart. Yeah, Bacart, I like that. Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart, which makes them Bacart, like Brangelina, or Lumphrey? Let's go with Bacart, that's better. Anyway, point being, today they would be played by a modern day like George Clooney and me! Me and George Clooney. George Clooney and I would be in this movie if it were made today, but they shouldn't remake it because it's fantastic. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I can't believe I haven't seen it, which is why we decided to do the first ever No Clue Movie Review in the Vault edition, because there are so many good older movies that I haven't seen that I really should have seen, and if I haven't seen them, it's possible you haven't seen them, and it's just a crime that we all haven't seen them. And they're all on Netflix and much cheaper than going to the movie theater. Not that that matters. But it helps. Anyway, point being, To Have and Have Not is a fantastic movie that we all have to go out and see. It was directed by Howard Hawks, and I love Howard Hawks. I can't believe I haven't seen this movie. And in addition to um, Bogart and Bacall, or what did we decide they were? Bogall? No. Bacart. Bacart. Uh, it also starred Hoagie Carmichael, and that sounds like a combo name all in itself. And get this. 